Hello there, this is Amy from Twinkle and welcome to the step-by-step -step guide to using Teams of your class. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a lesson, invite your children and share some of my top tips for teaching of Teams. Before we get started, the things that you will need are the Teams web or desktop app and an Outlook email sign-in. Depending on which device you're using, it can vary how you access Microsoft Teams. If you're using a console such as Xbox, you can simply find the internet browser Microsoft Edge, search for Teams, and here you'll be able to download the app. Don't forget that you'll need to create an Outlook sign-in to access Teams. You'll be brought to this page where it says sign up for free or sign in. Once you've signed up, you'll be able to see this page that says welcome to the team. Alternatively, you can download the desktop app from any browser. The same can be said if you're using a PlayStation 4 console. You just need to find your internet browser on the dashboard and then from here, search for Microsoft Teams and you'll be able to download or sign in. Once you've got the app, you'll be able to see that there's a menu bar down the left hand side and this menu bar helps you navigate your Teams sessions. For example, the chat function allows you to send messages to groups of children or individually. Once you're in the lesson as well, any children who type any messages within the lesson in the chat function will appear here too. In the Teams section, this is really great for class management, assignments, and where students can access any files that you've shared with them. The Assignments tab is a really great place to set homework and to set any follow-up tasks for students. The Calendar will help you schedule lessons, meetings, group work, and calls with parents. You'll be able to see that there's a Calls tab. This is really useful for any last-minute calls and there's also a chat function on each call if you need to take minutes, which I was talking about a little bit earlier. And finally, you've got the Files tab. This is part of Teams where you can save any lesson resources or planning that you can share with colleagues. And it's a good place to store any documents that you don't necessarily want to share with the children. Let's move on on how to schedule a lesson. If you go to the Calendar tab, you'll be able to pick a time and date that suits your lesson. You can add a title to the lesson, for example, Year 6 Maths. And in this part here where it says Add Required Attendees, this is where you add your students. You can also add in a message at the bottom that tells your students a little bit more about the lesson. This is also quite useful if parents want to know what they're going to be learning or if they need to prepare anything in advance. Once you've done that and you've clicked save, anybody who's been invited to the lesson will then get a notification and be asked to join once the lesson is approaching. You can see it's now appeared in the calendar and you can now set it whether it's a one-off or you can have it every week. One of my top tips for setting up a virtual classroom in Teams is by creating a team and naming it our virtual classroom. Now within that, you can have a general channel, but you can also add more channels to help you organize your weeks and schoolwork for children. You can see here that I've got weeks one, two, three, four, five. This is just a really helpful way for children to access previous resources. Another top tip of mine using Teams is on your general channel within the virtual classroom you will have created, in the files tab, you'll see that a file has been made called classroom materials. And in this file, this is where you can save resources that you want to be read only. So children can download it, but they cannot edit the original copy. As a point of safeguarding, make sure you keep a record of all the chats and conversations that you have between yourself and students and other members of staff. This can be shared on a secure drive within your school and there's also a function on Teams where you can record the lessons so that not only do your students not miss anything, but it's helpful for you to keep as a record. I hope you found this video on setting up lessons of Teams helpful. 
See you soon.